his mass is offered for God and Hewitt. Enter and sanctify. O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Let us take a moment of silence and ask God to forgive our minor sins, so we can prepare ourselves to celebrate this holy sacrifice. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without your mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel, next to the place of Ahab, next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The God forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer. Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him, I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife, Jezebel, came to him and said to him, why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite, and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, A fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up, eat, and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and King. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in this city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing, through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation. Naboth has cursed God and King. And they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the, the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been
been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth of Jezreelite, that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is not alive, but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord, attend to my sign. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, Go with him for two. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. This is a beautiful gospel for us today, how Jesus invites us that if we receive something bad, we need to respond to doing something good with love. But uh, my friend's friend, who is a very nice pastor, received one time a letter, a nine pages letter, basically telling, oh, you are not a good priest, you need to, to go to the seminary again and learn how to be a priest. But it's, it's beautiful how we can respond with love and doing something good to everyone. That's what Jesus is asking us to do. It's not easy, right? If you were the preacher, we write 20 pages to the person who sent the letter. But I don't think so he did. But how he took that moment to pray for this person. So we have, every time that, that something, uh, a person does something against us, we have opportunity to transform that actions in, in something better. We have that opportunity. That was Jesus is asking us to do. You know, uh, I'm asking you to, to love in that moment. I'm asking you to pray in that moment. You know, we don't have the opportunity to go to the past and try to fix, but we have the opportunity at the present time to look at the future, do it love, love it the persons. So think about a person who has done something against us against you. Think about uh, where the person was, you know, what, 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 what happened there, and only offered that moment to Jesus. So Jesus, I need to be so humble to grow and to know how to respond to this person, but I want to give you this person that it will teach me how to love him. That is our invitation for us. So after you leave this place and receive Jesus from the communion, Ask Jesus, Jesus, I'm 
resume your body as you transform my soul like your soul also teach me how to love everyone in my life. Amen. Let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. For our church, may the Lord increase her in faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. For individuals in positions of authority, may the Holy Spirit guide them in how they use their power and inspire them in protecting the lives of those most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with addiction, may Christ the physician be with them in their struggles and bring them hope and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the grace of word and sacrament deepen our faith and trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those prayers we hold in the silence of our heart, let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, receive our petitions and grant them according to your holy will. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail to us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, 
whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God, heaven and earth are full of glory. The Son of the Highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dofoil, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Lord and perfect us to the resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into want by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Land of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our communion antiphon. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life.
Let us pray. At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, forge out us the union of the faithful and you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.